Preachers on Beats, a hundredfold series. Here, if I need a miracle, let's say it's healing or financial breakthrough, it's a donut. You get it? Comes down from heaven, eat it. Oh, gone. You need healing again, financial breakthrough, you need another one. But here, you get the recipe for donuts in one area. I have the recipe for financial breakthrough or for healing. And you can do that one thing. But your marriage might go downhill or your children rebel or yeah, whatever. You need recipe for that, recipe for that, recipe for that. Donut, donut recipe, the bakery. The whole kingdom. Because, I wish I said this first, this is living on earth, out of earth supply. That's that medicine thing I was talking about. Okay? And they do, they, they run their finances very well. And they look at, and they have the committees, they look at how much money is coming in, it's printed up on their boards every week, what came in, what came out, and we're raising money for the, for the building fund. Okay? This is living on earth, out of heaven supply. And all their preaching and their music says so. Anointing comes down, or I need, a, I need to, uh, we need to build a building, and a miracle, a one-off miracle comes down. Well, they get an aspect of that. They work in that living on earth, our heaven supply, which defines revival. Yeah? On earth, our heaven supply. Out of heaven, out of heaven supply, which is a rest. I live off ten and tired ninety, which is amazing. I don't do it. <laughs> I, my father's son, I just do the household work. If you are an aristocrat's son from the late 1700s and he is doing international trade and raising cattle and doing international insurance and you're a baby, you didn't choose to be born, you're a baby and now he's completely responsible to make you someone who can take over that company. Everything from your baby needs to teaching you Latin to teach you international trade, and he pays for it. You don't have to go out and work and get a job to save up to do the missionary trip or plant the church. You don't even have to advertise for it. Um, who was the Irish guy that started the orphanage? He found, like, George Mueller. He found a penny on the ground. He said, God, give me a penny. He give me anything. And by the end, he had thousands of Boys was looking after them. Never asked money once. Wouldn't let anyone pledge him money. No flesh. No flesh. No ability to communicate. No access to Facebook. No access to any of these things. I'm not bad. I'm just saying that look what's possible. That record's already on earth. That guy did it. If you said, I'm going to give you $50 a week, he said, don't. Do what God tells you to do. Because he knew that he knew $50 was coming in. He'd start banking on that guy bringing $50. And he only wanted the invisible promise of God. Yeah. So I'm an aristocrat son. He has to pay for everything. I don't have to go and work at the butchery to make money so I can go back and learn Latin so I can help my dad take over his company. He pays for it. But here's the thing, I don't have any money. There's only household money. If my dad gives me money for new shoes, I get it. If he doesn't, he doesn't. I live out of my dad's nature. We go, good God, I just live out of that nature. God's got a plan for me. Before the foundation of the world, I believe I agreed to bring an aspect of God's nature to earth to destroy the work of the devil. In here, the bad DNA, and on the earth. I said, I will do that. But I will only receive that if I'm doing that job. If I've been Chris the good pastor, God didn't ask me to be Chris the good pastor, as we understand it. That's a Western construct, as we understand pastor. Not the gift of pastoring, but being a pastor. And if God gives me glory, something from heaven, I will trade it into the earth. I'm not allowed to. The king of Tyre, who's the devil, iniquity was found in him because of his trading. He saw the glory and went and told other angelic beings to get their loyalty. If I'm here and I have, like Paul said, surpassing revelations, I can trade it into earth for your loyalty, your money, anything. Now they trade the glory for earth. 
jackets, you know, the trade. Go crazy. <laughs> you get a hammer. If you're a good person, use a hammer well. If you're a bad person, use a hammer poorly. The jacket's a hammer. The anointing's a hammer. Okay? I'm aristocrat, son. I'm just doing what the house is doing. And the house pays for everything. It's the same if you are an ambassador. If you're an ambassador, you just do what your country says to do. You don't give your own opinion. And if you do that, they pay for everything. Need a new car, they pay for the car. Need a new house, they pay for the house. Need to entertain guests, they entertain guests. But if you're doing your own thing, <laughs> maybe they pay, maybe they don't. Same as the king. <laughs> but the king is much more generous than the, the bastardship because relationship with your father. Yeah, They pay for everything. It's a rest if you believe. Or you reach out with your own hand to take something that God wants to give you freely. Which is what happened in the garden. Your own hand, by your own capacity. And it's all about the of the heart and obedience. If God says do a Kickstarter and raise money, do it. But if you need to do a Kickstarter to get, to get money so you can come to God and give Him something, you're saying I'm outside the curtain, I'm not a true son.